we will see another topic in computer graphics that is area subdivision algorithm. So the topics that I am going to cover in this video uh, that is the area subdivision algorithm is first see what exactly the area subdivision means and what the types of subdivision pieces uh, that are present here and with an examples and finally we will work on with an algorithm. So the area subdivision algorithm. So first of all let's see what is an area subdivision. Area subdivision generally it is called it as an image space method. Okay, this is the area subdivision is an image space method, but it uses the obje object space calculation. Even though it is an image space method, but it uses the object space calculations for reordering of surfaces based on the depth. It is trying to reorder the surfaces based on the depth. So which uh, partition is having the uh, depth so based on the variations on the depth it is trying to reordering the surfaces okay it is based on divide and conquer method i think you all know about the divide and conquer method so trying to divide the thing and later it is solve the thing and again conquer it okay so it is this area subdivision method is based on the divide and conquer method where review, uh, reviewing area is divided into smaller and the smaller rectangle. Whatever the viewing area is there. So that is a view plane. The viewing area is divided into a smaller and smaller rectangles till the simplified area is detected. That is the dividing method. Okay. Viewing area is divided into smaller and smaller rectangles till the simplified area is detected or until each, uh, until each small area is the projection of part of a single visible surfaces or no surfaces at all. Either it, uh, we have to divide it into smaller and smaller rectangles till the simplified area is detected or until each small area is the projection of a part of a single visible surface or no surface at all. So let's see in this example what's happening here. Let us consider a window panel. This is a window panel. Okay. So let us consider this is a window panel. See here a rectangular window panel is there. Where a polygon will be projected. So here the polygon is going to be projected. Which is shown below. And subdivide the window panel in rectangle of each uh, of equal area. So this is uh, divided first it divided into 4. Okay. And then it divided into 8. Okay, each uh, square is divided in uh, divided into another four parts, and again it divided into another four parts. Again it divided into another four parts till the space is found. So we are applying the divide and conquer method here. This is a concept of area subdivision. I'll explain here. See, if we subdivide the panel again as the polygon, suppose. You are trying to subdivide the panel against the polygon. The following uh, cases will come across. First phase is surrounding surfaces. Surrounding surfaces. So see here this is a window panel and this is your polygon. Right? So here the uh, weaving polygon surface completely surrounds the whole window pa panel. So here this polygon is completely surrounds the whole window panel. This is one case which is again as the polygon. The subdivision of the panel is against the polygon. So surrounding surfaces. Another case is overlapping surfaces. So see here this is a polygon. Okay. And this is the window panel. Here the window panel and the weaving polygon surface both are intersected. Both are intersected each other. So next is inside surface that you also call it as a contained surface. Here the whole polygon surface is inscribed that is inside the window panel. See here the polygon is completely inside the window panel. This is a window and this is a polygon. A completely it is inside the window panel. It is just opposite to the surrounding case. In the surrounding case what happening? The polygon is completely outside. Okay. The polygon is completely outside and the window panel is inside. But here the window uh, panel is outside and the polygon is inside. So opposite to the surrounding case. Next is outside. That is a disjoint surface. Outside means there is no. The complete polygon is uh, outside of the window. 
Here the whole polygon surface is completely outside the window panel. So this is a polygon and this is a window panel completely outside. So now let's see the algorithm. Okay. Now let's see algorithm. First, initialize the window panel dimensions. So whatever the panel, window panel is there, we are considered, initialize the dimensions, the four sides. So you have to initialize the panel dimension. Sort all polygons that are present based on the depth. So whatever the polygons that are present here, okay, inside the or over the and whatever it is on the window panel. So you have to sort all polygons that are present based on the depth value with respect to the window panel. According to their corresponding cases, categorize all polygons in which they are falling. Perform visible surface detection. How to perform the visible surface detection? If polygon completely surrounds the window panel, then set viewing area color to corresponding polygon color, which is sorted in a frame buffer. Next one. Suppose if enlisted polygon, whatever the ender polygons are there, are completely outside the window panel, if they are completely outside, means when you are trying to subdivide it, when, it, when it is completely outside the window panel, then background color of the window panel will be done and the polygon will be ignored. Okay, that is another case. Next case is, suppose if the polygon is present inside the window panel completely, it is inside the window panel completely. When you are subdivided into the, uh, the uh, rectangular is subdivided, when it is completely inside the window panel, Okay, completely. Then color the polygon from its corresponding color and color rests of surface with a background color. Okay, so these are all the different cases. Suppose if the polygons and the window panel surfaces are overlapped, suppose they are overlapping each other, then the following cases has to be considered. Suppose if overlapping is occurred, you have to consider these two cases. What are these two cases? Fill the overlapped region with the corresponding polygon color. Okay, I fill the overlapped region with the corresponding color, polygon color. Then set in frame buffer. Suppose if more than one polygon with overlapped surface with respect to the window panel, then first find out Z minimum, that is the depth buffer Z minimum, in order to find the surface of the polygon that is closer to the window panel. And fill the overlapped region with the color of the polygon which has a depth buffer. So we have to repeat all steps for all polygons. Then we need to be exit. So this is the uh, method that we need to be followed for area subdivision algorithm. So still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.